Okay, I'm back. Uh, good afternoon again. Part two of this talk. Um, I talked about in the first part just about what my feelings were about the questions that were being a asked. Um, I want to take this second part to um, let you know as a YouTube user interested in what's going on on in space without a telescope what you can do. When we first started the channel, because when we use our telescopes we go to nightskiesnetwork.com and we broadcast live sometimes the feed of our telescope um, for free on nightskiesnetwork.com. Uh, the only drawback to that is that everyone on nightskiesnetwork.com is not looking for Ellen. In fact, most of the feeds on nightskiesnetwork.com are of astronomers pointing at messier objects that they find interesting, that they are doing research on, it's almost everything but Ellen. Very few channels, if any, I don't think there is any. Maybe ours, when I'm there, I like to dedicate it to Ellen that are dedicated to Ellen. So, Night Skies Network is a great place to go and see astronomers, amateur astronomers, who post live feeds of their telescope. Um, I posted a link on my Facebook channel. I think if you're watching this, you should come over to Facebook. If you have a Facebook channel, if you visit it once a week or every day or whatever, go over to Facebook and friend me, facebook.com forward slash fuzzy was here. F U Z Z Y W A S H E R E. Fuzzy was here. Um, though uh, when I like my video, when I like videos on YouTube, it goes over to Facebook. Uh, so you'll be able to see on both places what I'm liking on YouTube. You won't be able to see on YouTube what I'm liking from my friends on Facebook. So I think it's important that to get a better uh, a, a, a better picture of who I am as a uh, bookmarker and link maker and content sharer, you should go to Facebook and um, connect with me there. I, I accept everyone's friendships. So. Uh, what I want to tell you is on my Facebook today, I posted a link to Rent a Scope. Uh, Rent a Scope is uh, a website, a business model to where the public can rent time on major telescopes. It's almost like what Elenin, Leonid Elenin did when he found the common. He was using a telescope in New Mexico from Russia. So uh, I would love to get my hands on some time with some of these telescopes but if you find the link and I'll probably leave the link in the description you'll find that it's it's costly it, it, it costs it costs a lot to get the good telescopes and get time with the telescopes when the moon is not out like it is right now which I'll make a mention in a second so um, if anyone's interested maybe in getting together and buying some time on one of these telescopes I'd like to hear from you I'd like to see if there's any interest in, in collaborating together and working together to see if we can uh, combine uh, resources to get on some of these uh, Renoscope telescopes that are bigger than ours, that have CCD imaging, to where we might be able to do some uh, even better research using some even better tools, ergo if the resources are there for us to um, pay for the services. I don't know what you all think. Uh, I thought of that today. I'll let you leave a comment what you think, if you think anything of it. Um, so, w what this part of this conversation was going to be about is what, what you can do, what we can do, uh, while we wait for the information to tell us what to do. I would like for you to continue researching. Uh, tell me about interesting things that you found come back and see if I have new pictures, what my plans are, because uh, all the way through, besides Ellen, uh, we have Comet Levy, Comet Honda, YU-55, the asteroid. We have a lot of near-Earth objects that are passing by during the fall. Uh, will any of them create a major havoc with Earth? I don't think anybody can tell uh, if you are willing to accept all the possibilities. If you are willing to rule out some of the possibilities, you will come up with an understanding of the events according to your filtering in or filtering out of all the different scenarios. Most people like to have an answer, which means you can't accept all the different choices. You either have a yes or you have a no. 
Um, I think in this uh, situation, at this time and at this moment, um, if you are making up your mind and you believe the end of the world is coming, I think you are doing yourself a disservice. I do. Especially if you have a family, a job, and you have to pull up stakes to go and satisfy the urge to flee. Um, I'm sure the information will come out. It may limit the time that you have to react, but considering all that's at risk, uh, if you have a lot to risk, um, I, I think you're more like me who will be ready to jet at a moment's notice rather than leaving it all behind and waiting for six months for it to happen. Um, I like to look at that rent scope I like to go to a real, real big scope and find some time on a night sky to go look. If you would too, let, let's see if we can uh, communicate on that. Uh, last but not least, the full moon is out. There will not be uh, a night without uh, moonlight until June 30th. My next uh, big release of Elenin attempt capture pictures will be June 30th. Anything before then we may go out, but I don't think we'll get the results that we will get come June 30th. So other than that, this is part two of this conversation. I think I've spoken enough. You have a great day. See you later.